Iron Man. A film that came out way back in 2008. Ten freaking years ago. Well, at the time of this recording. Now, I've been thinking about what should I do on this channel, especially after releasing that video about where have I been. Well, I know what I was going to do. I'm going to express my thoughts on stuff. And what better way to do that than starting it off with this film. This incredible, beautiful film, Iron Man. What do I think of it? Amazing. It was an amazing film about the legendary Iron Man slash Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr. That, it was just, like, Marvel did an excellent job. I mean, John Favreau was, like, un like incredible at directing it. Robert Downey Jr. gave us the best Tony Stark slash Iron Man since 2008. I loved everything about this film. From the first act that portrayed, that was basically a homage to, the, to his debut comic from Tales of Suspense, all the way up to the final battle with the main villain, Iron Monger. Basically or not, it was just a fun ride. I also loved Tony's relationship with Pepper Potts. That was so incredible. I also loved the many Easter eggs and references in the film, from the Fin Fang Foom 2008 poster, which was obviously a homage to one of Iron Man's villains, Fin Fang Foom, a character from the comics, as well as that famous Stan Lee cameo. Of course, he appears in every film, but this is probably one of his best cameos. I especially love Tony Stark as a character in this film, like I already mentioned. I also love the other characters as well, from that guy from the beginning who actually saved Tony, all the way up to Rhodey, who actually was like a best friend, who's basically the best friend of, of Tony, as well as, well... Pepper Potts, obviously. She was an incredible assistant. I also loved Iron Monger, who was played by Jeff Bridges. Which is kind of weird, because most of Marvel's villains are, like, hit or miss in the movies, in the like, in the MCU. Well, he was a decent villain. Not the best. I mean, he didn't have the best of all, but I really liked him. I put him in my top five, or maybe even top ten. So, anyway, this film, which obviously started the MCU, is still good to this day. My final verdict would be a 10 out of 10, and which is basically an A+. Plus, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it, I gotta say. Peace out.